Hey guys, uh, I don't know what this is really, uh, it's a little bit over a week, so kind of a, maybe a week and a half, almost two week update, and uh, just going to give a quick update, and um, so what's going on here uh, with this new tank, and uh, talk about what happened to the 20, so, alright, so we'll look in here real quick, um, I haven't trimmed it I have taken a couple long pieces and clipped them and stuck them between on a couple of plants here and there this Rotala Colorado here that I got immersed is starting to convert so that's looking nice getting the converted tips on it and uh, basically what I did was uh, I put my Arcuata right here, some SP green behind it, behind here. This is a uh, Rotala Singapore, and then this is some um, Indica Red, is what it was called at my local fish store. Behind there, the immersed looking gross. That is more of my uh, Singapore. I have Rotala SP green just kind of plugged in everywhere in between it. I've got Junkas regions, clumps everywhere plugged anywhere I could fit it. This is stargrass, a couple more pieces of stargrass that I had there. I put a little hydrocotyl here for now. Um, Crypt Castata, Albeda Castata, I've got one here, one here. I just plugged this big pin out of Fita bush here. Uh, I just let the runners go two different ways on it. My Crypt Flamingos, all I did was just stuff them into different places that I could find. There's no soil under the sand, so we'll see how they do. There's no fertilization there. I might put the root tab under there. I finally put my first inhabitants in here because I took my water to Petco and they tested it and they said there's not much of anything going on in it. So I got the one auto. I've got three little blue shrimp in here somewhere. And no nerite snails yet and no amanos yet because they like to dig up and pop up carpets and stuff. But um, we'll see how all this stuff grows in and how it does. I'm trying to give this like a good month before I really trim it. That's why all this is just crazy like that. Try to give it about a good month. Um, oh, that's this pearl weed right there. That's the pearl weed that I had those five stems of. And uh, what else is in here? The little bitty bit of hair grass that I had, I put here. I put a little right in here. I put a little in the middle in there. And I put a little bit down in here. And uh, a couple of crypt parvos and a pygmy crypt, pygmea. Something like that. Uh, I did get a couple of buses and stuffed them in there and stuff. So this, all this is uh, plants I already had. There's the little hill stream. I put the hill stream back in here. And um, I got a the bigger Neo diffuser slightly bigger um, it's kind of weird because it's white the other one was pink um, for the setup I had uh, on the bottom I had put some UNS Contra soil and then I put a layer of you can't really see it because the light but there is a layer of just natural potting potting mix sifted so there is soil across the whole back of it and then I put some pumice stone that I ordered a little bag of um, as my sort of a 88 power sand alternative so with the way this tank is going right now I'm waiting on my light to come in the mail so right now I've got the fluval plant 3.0 on it and I've got the aqua sky behind it the Fluval plant is just running on 12 hour cycle at 50%. Well, all colors maxed, but the warm and the white light are at 50 or 60 now. Um, I'll go up 10% each week. Six hours a day. This one, well, this is a 24 hour cycle, but this is uh, six hours a day. It comes on a little bit extra bright just to help it out. But when I get my SB Reef light, put on it um, I'll be putting just that on it and it has a blue channel and a red channel and I'll probably just put the blue channel 
on lower light for longer and put the red channel on six hours for extra bright so we'll see how to do with timing for that um, same filter same everything underneath the cabinet in here um, timer for the co2 timer for the aqua skylight in the back um, still got the uh, eheim pro 4 350 and um, this is a little more organized than my last one was. Um, but, um, oh, here's a shrimp. Here's one of them. Kind of hard to see this little guy, but there's three little blue ones in here. But that's this tank. I am going to show you the 20. I still have the 20. Hey, you. All right. Here's the 20. The 20 is still alive, but there's no CO2 on it. Um, it's still got the Phoenix on 24-7 mode, but I made my own 24-7 mode where I dialed down the light on on each uh, interval. So, um, being that it's low tech now, I just put a hang on the back filter, some Aquion or something that I got from PetSmart a long time ago for another tank. And uh, so it just has this little filter on it with, uh, I just got some biomedia stuffed in there and a couple of little sponges. Very minimal, very, very minimal. Um, but yeah, this tank, uh, so some of the stuff is still in here, but I yanked most of it out to put into the big tank. Still has a lot of the carpet left. I had ripped all this carpet out. So I'm just going to see if maybe the Brazil... Uh, Liliopsis will fill it in or this but without CO2 and with a lot lower light um, I doubt anything's gonna fill in much it looks like the hydrocodal is pretty much gonna just take over the whole tank which which is fine the the cherries are still in here and they're still doing good um, the Amanos are still in here Um, I will just leave all these cherries in here and I will either put just blues or maybe blues or black shrimp or something. I'll put some different shrimp in the other tank, in the big tank. But I can't put any mono shrimp in the big tank yet because um, I will be battling, uh, I'll be battling them rolling the gravel downhill and all that again. So I need to let the whole plant, uh, the whole, uh, the plants get completely rooted and all that stuff before any of that so yeah this is whatever happened to the 20 it's still around it's just it's just low light it's a lower light no co2 and the carpet is still growing very well so I mean Monte Carlo once you get it going you can grow it low tech it might look discolored on camera but it's actually very very nice color everything in here is growing well nothing here is suffering from no co2 just basically the just basically the growth has slowed down on most plants except for the hydrocotyl the hydrocotyl and the rotalas are growing pretty good the panadafita is still spreading like crazy in low tech and the uh, archiwatas back there turn green instead of red but uh, they're still growing pretty fast so that's it that's an update on that that's the 20 and that's the new tank that's my new update um, if there's uh, possibly if anyone has a question about anything or I don't know about setup or about something about one of the tanks or whatever uh, feel free to ask or say anything or whatever I'm still trying to decide what fish to put into the big tank um, what kind of like a schooling fish or something and maybe an pisto or a couple of pistos or something in there I don't know sure but uh, that's it that's an update on everything